All right, guys, so I'm going to be making a video about um making a little holder for your different leaders, jigs, and setups. Because look what I have right here. This is a ton of, like, little leaders with loops for, for like, the loop hooks and, like, a sabiki or two in there for the pier, and it's just not fun. So, I've already got some out, and once I get them out, all of them out, we're going to make a holder for them. Alright guys, it's the next day. I was working on getting these things out for a while. I got about four of them out. It took me an, an hour, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sh be showing you some of the rigs you can put on your rig holder and how to rig them up. Okay, so the first, vi the first rig we're having is called the Carolina Rig. And there are many other tutorials. This is just a quick run through, and I will leave time script timestamps to skip it in the description below. This is our line, okay? So we're gonna grab our swivel, basic swivel, and we're going to tie our just everyday clinch knot. So we're gonna put it in and wrap it. Put it through the loop, wrap it around, anyway. and we're going to wrap it around seven times. I don't know if you can see this, but put it through the loop, pull the line through, wrap it around the thing about seven times, two, three, four. All right, and then once you've wrapped it around seven times, it should look something like this. You're going to wet it so it stays tight. And then you're going to take the line, put it through this little loop, and pull it tight, and it should cinch down on itself. Okay? Now you're going to take as much line as you think you need. Like, man, I'm just going to do this much because every time you tie it, it gets shorter. So then... We're gonna cut it, and that's gonna be what your leader is gonna be. Let's just pretend I'm not using spool, because with your spool you just attach leader line to it. Let's, this is just pretend it's my line. Okay, so now we'll have something like this. Okay, then we are going to tie this. We're gonna tie this back to our line with the same knot. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'm going to grab my hook okay and then just do basic clinch knot I just told you about So you just cinch it down, cut off the tag end, and now I'll have this. Now, I'm not going to do this right now for the sake of wasting swivels. I would just attach this to my rod, but if this, we're just pretending this is my rod line, I would grab, most conveniently, an egg weight, but if you don't have heavy enough ones, you could use like a tur um, pyramid one, but make sure you have a bead. Then let's just say I would attach my line to this. Before I do, I'd put this weight in. So the weight slides around. When the fish grabs the hook, they pull it and the weight just slides and then you can hook them, okay? Okay, so this hook loop that I'm about to show you how to make will be, it's useful for 
you attach those loops to the loops on a dropper rig. So if you don't have those and have interest in learning how to do it, feel free to skip. All right. So this is how you do the hook loop. There's many other tutorials online. So feel free to skip. I'll leave a timestamp below. You're gonna take your line, wrap it down. This is just a brief one. You have your hoop, you're gonna wrap it around your finger, making another hoop loop. Then you're gonna take the smaller loop, put it through the bigger loop twice. And then you're gonna grab it, and you're just gonna grab the other, you're gonna grab the tag ends and the loops like this and you're just going to pull it tight okay make sure you get maybe just apply just wet it too and boom you have your loop now you're going to want to cut off this tag end okay so we're going to just oh see the old cut off this tag end right here Okay, now you're gonna cut as much line as you want, but you need some line to tie this next knot, okay? So the, n the next, we're just gonna snell the hook, okay? Again, many other better tutorials online, but feel free to do this one. So you're gonna take this loop, this um, tag end, stick it, you're gonna have your loop like this, or the hook, stick it through the eye, and then you're gonna Bring it up the back of the hook and then turn it around, making that loop we just made. Okay. Okay, this one's not going to turn out too well. Then I'm going to take the end, wrap it around six to eight times. Then I'm going to put it, grab the loop at the top, and I'm just going to put the tag end through ouch I hooked myself through that loop and then you're just gonna pull it real tight you're gonna pull it tight and then you're gonna push it down to the bottom of your hook okay now that is a very not really that good tutorial of how to make the hook loop okay I still haven't even got it there you go. Boom. And then just cut off the tag end, of course. Okay, so now we're going to be um, getting a stick so we can make a stick rig holder, and then we'll be making a cardboard one. All right, guys, I just biked to this place right by my house where with my, um, with my pocket knife, we're going to get the perfect right, stick. So I think I found a perfect place find a nice thick long stick all right little cove all see. right guys so right here we have the stick we want right here all right so i'm just gonna all right i'm just gonna cut this stick out of the tree and just oh no it's dead anyways so i'll just meet you back at the house Okay, so I actually lost the footage of how to make the stick one, but you can take a knife and cut slits through the stick and stick your rigs through and then let them dangle down. And yeah, now here's the cardboard one. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do with your square is you're gonna cut little, actually I'm gonna use a smaller knife for this. Ouch. You're just gonna want, yeah. Not the, I'm pretty clumsy with this, so I just wanna make sure you be careful. Um, so you wanna just cut little divots like this, and then you wanna try to get it as even as possible, cut one on the other side. And then depending how many rigs you want to hold on each side, you'll cut for each one, okay? So then I'm gonna grab my rig, and I'm gonna put one end in this little divot, right? And then wrap it around, put the other end in the divot, 
and just keep going like that all right and that's it for the video today make sure to follow snags and drags fishing Asher Varga YouTube, Isaiah Varga YouTube, um, literally everything YouTube. I'm not saying like that, like it's an actual channel on my buddies. And Ride a Reptile. See you on the flip side.